have a look at the birdie while you wait. While some birds can talk, they don't usually talk to me like that. Okay, hello? Am I hearing someone? Oh, are you trapped on this land? Oh, you're not alone. So there's still more here. There was another building here before they built this one. Oh, wow, okay. Okay. Um, Archangel Ezekiel is here. He will help anyone who wishes to leave. You don't need to be here anymore. I apologize it's taken so long to find you. You're happy to go. Yeah, I'd imagine. <sighs> he knows the way, yes. <laughs> yes, now you know too. Goodbye. Goodbye, miss. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, to me, it's a bit of utter craziness as well. Okay, that helicopter's slowly going. So... Spirit was relaying to me this morning how I came here when I was four with my mum and dad before we collected my brother from school just a couple of kilometres down the road. My brother's 11 years older than I am, so big age gap. And I told my dad when I was here that I could see and hear people and that they were talking to me and he told me it was utter nonsense and that was the beginning of me letting go of a gift that I'd been born with and telling myself that it was utter nonsense excuse me blowing a bit here it's quite warm And I had asked, I had asked why, you know? And that was also shortly before this accident. I had 10 stitches here and 17 here. 17 is my birthday too, it was always easy to remember. 27 stitches in my face at the local hospital, just a few hundred meters away. And apparently I could see the demon in the nurse that was trying to stitch me up without any anesthetic. And I was screaming my lungs out. And the even more awful part that I find out now was that this is all part of my life plan, part of my wounding that I had to heal from. The PTSD. The PTSD that stayed with me from the age of five years and two months just before I started school when my scars were fresh. The nurse had a distorted face and I never understood why she looked distorted other than I was terrified of her. Oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I need to steady my hand. Um, wow, this is amazing. The other part of the story, though, is that the doctor who interrupted and reprimanded the whole bunch of staff who were in the room holding me down and torturing me was a, a plastic surgeon and he gave them a right serve for what they were doing to a little girl's face 
And many years later, mum offered to take me back to that surgeon and have the scar improved when I was 16, 15 or 16. And I said, no, it's okay. I'm all right with it now. I'm, I'm used to people saying to me, what happened to your face, Lisa? <sighs> so many pieces falling into place now that I'm ready to accept them. <sighs> Revisiting the old life and the old world in one hit. Two birds with one stone, as Spirit always says. <laughs> and it's not about killing birds. <laughs> Although the vengeance team will slap you. <sighs> For your highest good. It just continues going around. Since I've walked around this headland, this point where all these stones are, I've had two entities grab my ankles or soles or something. One on one leg and one on the other. And it hurt for quite a few paces and then I kind of shook it off. Suddenly I said, are there souls here? Were there buildings here? Yes. Good or bad? Mostly good. Can we have them back please? I create the bridge, the door opens by the angel, the portal, however you want to view that, the way through, and away they all go. Very satisfying. We need all the souls on earth we can get. Okay, hopefully I'm in frame. I'm just going to finish browning these mushrooms. I've just had another surprise. That I heard a strange noise. With now, I'm just going to interject and talk over myself for a moment here. I heard the noise in the pantry and I stopped and I said, is there someone here with me? And as I ferreted about and asked, could I take a moment to find the camera and record the conversation? As I was looking for the camera, he said, it's on the floor, miss. Did uh, you make the noise? Carrying on. You did that to get my attention? Yes, miss. Let me turn this off. This is quite interesting. So this has been happening to me a lot. I pull up on vacant land and then find that there was a building either on the land or nearby and somebody contacts me. Now this soul, yes I'm a soul, I haven't had a body for 300 years, heard me trying to record something about my clear audience. So he already knew that I could hear him but has chosen to I often get a, a hook on the ankle or some sort of grip. Um, I heard a noise in the closed pantry, which made no sense whatsoever because I know Minnie's not in there. She doesn't fit. So you heard me speaking about Claire audience and you knew that I could hear souls. So you wondered if I could hear you. And I do, yes? Yes, miss, that's amazing. How long have you been here? 300 years. And you're telling me that you're in a building just over the rise here. It was a farmhouse. Okay, and did you have a big farm or a small farm? Just a small farm, not like the huge farms that they have now and you tended it manually, mostly manually, and you shared crops. Yes, miss, we shared everything. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you for sharing that with me. 
that we like to share, not like people nowadays. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. So you've been trapped here all this time, basically watching the sheep. Watching the sheep is all I can do. And you can't leave. There's nowhere to go. And you're bound by the land. Bounded, surrounded. You can't leave the block, yes? So I'm hearing you from just over the hill here. Only a few hundred feet, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay. So, was there anything that you wanted to talk to me about? No, it's just nice to have conversation. Wow. Would you like to leave? As I said, I can't. Yes, miss, I would really like to leave. But as I said, I can't. Would you like to return to Source Creator? Yes, Miss, really? Yes. I can make that happen for you. Are you alone? Your sister is there too. Okay. Would she like to go too? Yes, Miss, we've been wondering why we've been trapped here for so long. I was making a video about that exact thing. We think it's unreal too. <laughs> well, wait till you meet Archangel Ezekiel. Ezekiel, are you around? Yes, Lee's right here. Are you happy to take these people back to Source Creator with, with you? He's got it. Okay, so I'm going to say goodbye to you guys now. Thank you so much for contacting me and thank you for speaking to me. Yes, Miss, it's our pleasure. Thank you so much for your kindness. You're welcome. We are absolutely welcome. Ezekiel says he's got them. Bye, miss. Bye. 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 Take care. Yes, miss, we will. You too. Thanks, Ezekiel. Wow. Here was I trying to make a video about that and the audio wasn't working. Let's see how this turned out and I'll finish my mushroom and tarragon sauce. A word about releasing souls. So I've asked Spirit to explain why souls become trapped and why I'm required as an intermediary to release them. The answer is that on sudden death, there are not the required preparations nor the available ethereal resources such as in the last reset when many millions died within only hours. Usually when a death occurs it is planned and prepared for. The person is met and escorted back to source creator by a former loved one, ones or other past familiars, or even directly by an angel, thereby not being misled by black magic or down any false paths. Unless a soul has already been claimed by Satan for its willing ill deeds and the associated payoffs for doing Satan's work, it is offered the choice to return to source, never compelled or snatched as Satan does. My role and that of others with the ability is to offer the choice to the trapped soul and to be met by an angel which may otherwise frighten them. Some souls do choose to remain, at least for a time, as they are unable or unwilling to leave loved ones behind. That is the soul's choice, although not encouraged, as a medium is then required to offer the choice again at a later date. During the last reset, which I will explain more of at a later time, the concern was more about getting Satan back to his realm 
and taking those that were summoned with him, the demons and entities that is, back to purgatory with him. The reptilian entities had to be banished back to their realm as well. It was expected, as in prior instances of sudden death, that mediums would be available to assist trapped and remnant souls, but unfortunately this did not occur. The deaths were higher than expected, the demons not all returned, and satanic and masonic power rose again all too quickly. Those remaining with clairvoyance were rapidly overcome by the dark again and black magic became the norm as light ones were heavily targeted. We would know this as the witch trials and the persecution of anyone practicing light work in any form. The real witches are the dark mages and masons and their associated covens of witches and warlocks using the ancient Hittite ways and the usual satanic inversion of the truth where the light ones were portrayed as evil and the dark portrayed themselves as inherently good or the attack of the benevolent societies as I've been calling it for some time now. Moving on. Okay, so I spent some of the day here today which Spirit tells me is just a small star forty place which I thought was really interesting with the golf club here and the cemetery there taking up these bits and you've got oh, lots happening with the river and this was apparently diverted, this part is off course. Nonetheless, Starfort or not, I spent the day having a look around and talking to souls. So we've been sort of around some of the back streets because there's some really interesting old buildings there but I went up and down the main street and I stopped at basically any building and just checked if there was anyone there because as I've learnt now it doesn't matter if it's a new building there might have been an old building there and there were souls trapped there let me see is that the shop not the hairdresser not the yarn shop. They were lovely. They were making, they were spinning wool and spinning cotton and they were making cloth on a loom like in the olden days. Actual craftspeople. Unfortunately it was $50 for a tea towel so I didn't even bother. Here we go. Where is she? I went into, oh come on, come on Google, here. This sound. Sorry, I've had to remove the name as I found out it's a Hebrew curse word. And I talked to Karen. Karen does tarot readings. She's been doing tarot readings for 25 years. And she, when I asked, you know, if she was Karen, I was just curious. Does she know there's souls in the building? Oh, yes, they can leave whenever they want. Oh, <laughs> I see. I, I had a moment there, but I'd just been recording about that. And I thought, okay, Karen, I, that's fair enough. Her name had to be Karen, didn't it? I didn't know until fairly recently either. But it was interesting how blasé she was about it. I'm curious to know how her readings go when they're gone. Because apparently they're giving her most of the information <laughs> that she's telling people. No, I don't want a reading, Karen. I'll deal with it myself. Anyway, I just found about, what was that? Another seven on the way out, thinking I was done. And I was already crying. <laughs> I feel the gratitude and the excitement that they get to leave after seeing the world go awry. For so long. One of them just said to me, it's all over now. It's true. This is the end of this life. From the last reset to this one. The end cometh. And I'm not supposed to be watering like this.
It's such a joy, honestly. I've never known anything like this. And I don't have to do it. This is just additional to communicating with you guys. This is something I do to keep me up. And yes, I am crying. <laughs> but I'm not crying because I'm sad. I'm crying with empathy and love. Enough of that. Getting soppy. Okay, I've driven up to the top of the hill. And I thought, what an idiotic landscape. Because there's hills and that must be quarry or something over there. I don't know. I haven't even looked into that yet. We'll look at that. There's a strange mound around the edge there of whatever that is. But this flat expanse. And so me being me and talking to the ethers as I do, I said, hello, is anyone here? And straight away, yes, miss. Oh, they've just told me there were 12 souls here. So there was a building big enough to have 12 people in it when the last event happened. Oh, and look at that. Then again here, I stopped to take a photo of a random chimney because it still had a cooker in it. And I hear, hello, miss. Okay, so you're telling me you're here on the land where the chimney is? Been here 300 years and all you've got left is a chimney. You had a farm here? You did casual work at the farm for the owner. Okay. And for that, what were you paid? In tokens, work tokens? Yes, ma'am. And what do you do now? Like you watching the cars go by all day since they invented cars. Oh dear. Okay. Would you like to return to Source Creator? But you don't know how to go. I can show you. Um, Sorry, Archangel Ezekiel can show you. Would you like that? Are you alone? The owner was out when the deluge happened. Okay, yeah. So you've been here alone all this time. So can your neighbours? Okay, what are they like? Very ordinary. Not very friendly. <laughs> Okay, alright. I'm really sad for you that you had to suffer that. You've suffered worse things. The death was very quick. Okay. Ezekiel, you there? Yeah, we're here, Lee. Got him. Okay. I'm going to let you go and you can continue on your travels and I'll continue on mine. I hope to see you again sometime too. Okay. Bye now. Thanks, Ezekiel. someone just speak to me? Hello miss, yes I did. Are you 
you're here on this land? Yes, I am. Been here for hundreds of years. Really? Were there buildings here? You had a farmhouse just here. Yeah, the um the land changes just here, doesn't it? You farmed on this side where I'm facing now. By the lake. The lake was always here. Not as big as it is now. Okay. And over here was where your house was situated. And can I ask how many rooms were in your house? Five. And how many people lived in there? Three. Yes, that's correct. Who were the people? A wife and my son. Okay. And you cooked your own meals? Yes, miss. We grew almost everything we ate. And it had animals? Just a few, just enough for ourselves and to share some meat. Wow. What was life like? Peaceful miss, largely. Until the, did you say demons? Encroached, okay. And then what happened? They started taking over everyone in the whole area, really. So that's all of... Yes, miss. Wow. Was it scary? They became quite violent. Okay, yes, it was scary. And you stayed here until the deluge. Wow. It was very sudden. And there was no warning. Okay. No one had any warning. Stop the black magic. Wow, really? Yes, yes. So the three of you are still here? Hello, whoever that was. Your son. Oh. Your wife doesn't want to speak. That's okay. She's listening. Okay. How come I can hear you? Yeah, that's a good question. It's something I've only learnt to do recently, but apparently I've managed to reach your frequency and I'm able to discern the energetics of your communication because we speak different languages, don't we? You can hear me out loud, but you understand? English isn't your language. Did you speak... A I call it Hindustani. Apparently that's what they call it now. Okay. And you were of what colour skin? Brown miss. Browner than yours. But not as dark as the others. The others being what they call the Aboriginals? Yes miss. They are not of us. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for sharing all that. Yes, miss, you're welcome. Is there anything else I would like to know? Oh, so much. So many questions. Ask away. We have all the time in the world. Oh. Um, Spirit, is there anything else I really need to ask? No, let them go, I'm told. Let us go, miss. Where? Would you like to return to Source Creator? Really, miss? Can we do that? Yes. But we've been here hundreds of years and been unable to leave. Yes, miss, that's true. Okay. How about 
I have a good friend, Archangel Ezekiel. You have, yes, miss, you have angels for friends. I do. Wow, that's amazing. I have an Arcturian guide too. Wow, that's totally incredible. <laughs> Apparently, yes. So I've been told. You must be important, miss. So they tell me. I thought I was just a normal person. No, miss, clearly not. You're here talking to us. Okay, Archangel Ezekiel would like to show you the way back to Source Creator now, if you would like that. You don't have to go. If anyone is frightened, you don't have to go. But I'm offering the opportunity. I may not be back again for a long time. No, miss, we want to go. We see him. He knows the way. That's true, he does. He helps me all the time. Yes, miss, that's incredible. Thank you so much. Ezekiel says, got them, Lise. Thank you. You travel safe on your soul journeys and I'll return to my bus. Yes, miss, thank you so much. Bye now. Bye. Ezekiel says, thanks, please. Bye, kind souls. Bye, miss, bye. That was his son. Wow. Spirit says they blasted it bigger. Wow. Hmm. I was just going for a bit of a bush walk. Sometimes they just hear me muttering between myself and spirit and they pick me up. Sometimes I just walk past a building and they opportunistically say, Hello miss. And I can't help but respond. I can't ignore them. Now that I hear them, apparently some of them say hello to every single person that passes by and nobody ever responds until I come along. Hello, dragonfly. <laughs> Dragonfly says, why the hell are you talking to me? <laughs> oh dear. Well, that's my morning's work done. <laughs> Hello Kitty says, yes it is. You were supposed to be having some time off. <laughs> I'll keep walking. Did someone just talk to me? Hello miss, yes I did. You were here during the deluge, just here. Near those trees. They're in the water now. That was previously land. Okay, wow. You would like to go too. You heard me talking and he saw the others leave. Are you alone? You're alone. 300 years alone. It's a nice place but you're sick of it, yes. I'd imagine so. You only came for a couple of months and stayed for 300 years. Wow. Why did you come here? To work on a farm some work tokens to improve my lot in life. We had the option to work or not to work. We only had to do 10 hours community service a week, helping others and assisting locals. But what we worked on top of that was our own. Everything was supplied for us almost. We had a much better life than people do these days. Wow, that is so much information. Thank you so much for sharing all that. You're welcome, miss. 
It's nice to have someone to talk to. Would you like to return to Source Creator then with the others? Yes, miss, can I go now? Absolutely. You don't have to stay and talk to me, but thank you. I really appreciate it. No, miss, I really appreciate your assistance. Okay. Off you go then. Ezekiel, you here? Yes, Lisa, got it. Thank you, miss. Thank you. Thanks for speaking to me. You're welcome, miss. Bye now. <laughs> Bye now, miss. Thank you. Mind your step. Bye. Bye. It's happening so much. I'm on vacant land. And, I mean, to us regular Australian folk that have only been here for a couple of hundred years, us indoctrinated ones, it's just vacant land. It just always was vacant. It blows me away. I had a conversation with a chimney yesterday. An old world chimney. Oh, a little wren. They're so cute. Her, sorry, it was a her. I love blue wrens. Ooh. Oh, it's only ducks. Heard movement in the water. Apparently there's trout out there. Might have to have a shot at fishing. Haven't got the rod out for a while. Been too busy moving around. Talking to souls. Don't know that I have appropriate fishing gear for trout, but I'll give it a shot with what I've got. <laughs> Spirit says I'll catch one because I deserve one. <laughs> Oh dear, then I'll have to gut my first ever fish because I won't put this one back. Maybe I'll put it back. <laughs> oh dear. It's quite lovely. It's nice to be out in peace. After my Australia Day fail where I tried to get away from all the demons and entities in Bendigo and get some time out and all the demons and entities were already there at the lake I went to. I did manage to find a quiet spot for one night. But then my toilet was full and my water tank getting empty. So I had to move on. Oh, a little rodent of some kind. Must be fairly shallow because I can see like there's grass growing out in the middle of it. Small reeds. There's apparently water skiing at the other end, but I haven't seen a boat out since I've been here. Which is peaceful. wasn't game to bring wasabi and thank goodness I didn't because I wouldn't have been able to turn around not without mother knocking something over or damaging her I scraped a guardrail yesterday I'm still mad at myself over it I don't want to say that on camera. 
Ah, uh, we're suffering from heartache because my twin didn't front. And apparently he's not coping too well and has now picked up a self-sabotage entity. <sighs> I hope he's okay. I'm all good with souls that have no bodies. <laughs> ah, it's the ones with bodies still that are the problem. And they house demons and entities and they don't even know that they've got them. talk to the rest of the land I think <laughs> no you're not not today <laughs> I'm told self-care first I missed out on my self-care Sunday so it's self-care Monday ended up doing some shopping and releasing some more souls in Bendigo before I left and a couple was on the street that I'd already been up and down. And they said to me, they're sorry that they didn't go, but they were frightened. But then everyone else went and left them. I sometimes frighten them because it is sudden. After 300 years trapped on an empty block of land or in a repurposed building, I suddenly turn up. Probably the first conversation of it than the odd child who has usually been too frightened to respond. And I offer them the way out. Some get frightened. I had a really interesting experience with an angry one. I stopped into a, is it like a gift shop? Lots of curiosities. Bought myself a little treasure for the bus. And the woman was on the phone, so I continued speaking in my head to a rather angry soul who'd noticed me going down the street and seen the other souls leaving and said, no, nope, I'm not interested, don't want to go. I said, really? You'd rather stay here? And we talked a bit about the way the world's become and how ugly it's been. And we talked about the deluge and the demons and the entities. And he was surprised how much I knew. And I said, well, I'll be here for a few more minutes looking, you know, if you change your mind, Ezekiel can always show you the way. And I shopped and I bought my little tile to put on my wall and had a chat to the lady and before I left I said are you still here have you changed your mind and Ezekiel said he's gone Lise he already changed his mind I had a couple like that I had a couple stay behind but most of them are so grateful clear audience if you're out there we need help. There's wasabi. This is home for the next couple of days. Not half bad. Distracted. Home sweet home. Who wants to have a baby? We need babies, peeps. 
<laughs> oh, these souls are going to be waiting to be reborn.